Welcome to this walkthrough of Coacher Custom. Coacher Custom is an upgradable version of Coacher Premium, meaning that you get all of the same excellent features, but also have the ability to customize Coacher to fit your organization brand. Coacher Custom allows you to change all aspects of Coacher's aesthetic, from the brand to the colors. Changes that you make in Coacher Custom are drilled across the member portal and the iOS and Android apps. So everything falls in line with your organizational brand. Let's look at how you can customize your Coacher instance with Coacher Custom. Log into Coacher in the usual way, preferably on a laptop or a computer. Head to Dashboard and then go down to Coacher Custom. This section will allow you to change every aspect of Coacher. We are going to work through this section together, saving as we go to create a great new look to our Coacher instance. The first section allows you to upload your club logo. This will appear on the club signup form and will replace Coacher branding throughout the system. For best results, your logo should be in a PNG format with a transparent background and a maximum width of 400 pixels. However, you can upload many different types of logo, but we have found that this type gives the best results. To upload a logo, hit Upload Now. Select the file that you would like to upload and it will automatically go into the system. There is a Save button below this section. Hit Save and that will replace the logo in the top left-hand corner of the screen. That's all there is to it. Coacher will now be branded with your own logo. Next, we come to the language in Coacher. Here, you can change the name of your type of club, your instructors, your classes and sessions, your members and your groups. For instance, you may call your instructors coach, you may call your regular classes sessions, and you may call your members clients or athletes. It's very easy to change these over and then just hit save again at the bottom of this section. To check that the section has saved properly, scroll up and you will see the saved banner at the top of the section. Next, we come to the powerful color palette section. Here, we can change lots of different aspects of Coacher to make it our very own. The background is the gray background that we see behind the palettes in Coacher. I can change this by clicking on the new button and then select a color and hit save. This will now change the background after a few seconds. If I want to reset back to the original background, I simply set reset. Again, hit save, and this will reset it after a few seconds. The left-hand section of color palettes are all of the main areas of Coacher. The background, as we've just seen, the text, the navigation background, which is the section on the left with all of your items, the navigation text, which is the text that sits over that section, the login background is the background of your custom login page, which we will see shortly. And then the login text is the text on that page. So let's go through and change a few of these items. I'm going to leave my background at this light gray because I think that looks quite nice. Text, I'm going to change, and I'm going to change it to more of a purple color in line with the logo. Drag the pointer around to find a color that suits you, or type in the type of color that you want to use. If you click on the RGB section, it will change it to different types of color. The hex color code is the most common, but you can also do RGB values. So I'm going to choose this purple color for the text, and I'm going to copy the color so that I can use it elsewhere. In the navigation, I'm going to actually change the background to a darker color. Here, again, a type of purple, and this time a darker type of purple. Because now I've selected a dark color for the background, I'm going to select a light color for the text. In this instance, a light gray. The background for the login page, I want to be the same as my text. So I'm going to change that over to the hex code that I just copied. Because the background of the login page is going to be very dark, I'm also going to keep the login text as white. Now I'm just going to hit the save at the bottom of this section, and this will save all of the changes that I just made. We'll take a few moments and then you'll see Coacher adapt to the new color scheme. Now, as you can see, my logo has disappeared somewhat because the text is black. In this instance, I will adjust the text by creating a new logo in white and upload it. When I hit save, you can now see that the logo matches the background. 
and is much more clear. Little tips like this can really change the way that your custom coacher looks. The color palettes on the right are used throughout coacher for various areas. You can see here that the buttons are using color two and the reset buttons are using color three. We can also see that the copy link at the bottom right here is using color one. So as we adjust these colors, they will drill throughout the system and change things like buttons and actions. So let's change a few. I'm going to change the primary blue to a purple. I'm going to change my secondary color to a slightly more pink version and mute it down a bit. I'm going to leave the light blue as that also fits with my aesthetic. And I'm going to leave my fourth color the same as well. Now I'm going to hit save and that is going to drill across everything. And we'll see all of these save and reset buttons change color now. There we go. So as you can see, now Coacher has changed its aesthetic. If I go to the dashboard, we'll be able to see that in its full glory. Now on assessment, I think that this purple is a bit bright. So I'm just going to go back in, scroll down, select that color and mute it down a bit and bring it down out of that high level of vibrancy. Again, hitting save next to that color and that will adjust everything. So let's go back to the dashboard and check. And that looks a little bit better now. So you can go back and forth playing with the different colors, changing colors to be slightly different to how you originally thought. And you can always reset if you get a bit lost or stuck. Coacher Custom also allows you to have a custom login page for your club. This is a link that you can share with your members to log in on your website or on your socials. You can type in the name of your custom login link so that it's similar to your club name. Just hit copy link. And then when you go to that link, you'll notice that your, your background color is selected and your logo is in place of the Coacher Custom logo. Next, we come to the customizable welcome email. This is really useful for adding information when people join your club. You can customize this email however you like, adding links and tech, different types of text. You can also personalize this email by adding your member's first name, using your club name automatically, and also putting in your club email account. You can, of course, just type these in to the body content underneath. Remember to hit save under this section when you've finished designing your welcome email. The next section allows you to turn off and on features that you may not use in Coacher. For instance, if your club doesn't use venues or venue bookings and doesn't rent out its space, you can simply turn that section off. Any of these sections, when you turn them off, will disappear from the left-hand navigation and will not be available to members. The most obvious is the club notice board. Some clubs don't use this. This is present on the dashboard up here and also in the Academy Notice Board section. It is also visible to members on their dashboard. However, if you don't use this section, simply turn it off, hit save, and it will disappear from the navigation and disappear from your dashboard. Here you can see the registers have all moved up. Similarly, if I want to turn off venue bookings here, known as pitch bookings, I can turn those off, hit save, and they'll disappear from the menu. Finally, in this section, you are able to get a call back from our support team. As a Coach a Custom subscriber, you get priority support and telephone support. Hitting save at the bottom of this section will save everything that's changed above. And similarly, you can hit save at the top here and everything will save. And that's it. You've customized your entire Coacher through one section and these easy to change features. As part of the Coacher Custom upgrade, you also get the new invoicing system. This is very useful if you send invoices to schools or organizations where you coach. From this section, you can manage your invoices, you can see their status, their payment, and manage your customers, seeing how much they owe or not. You can create new customers and new invoices in a few clicks. This section is fully explained in our how-to file. Coacher Custom gives you complete control of your Coacher instance. Let's take a look how Coacher Custom now looks for your members. Here we can see 
how Coacher now looks to your members. It's fully colorized and your brand is prominent in the top left hand corner. In this instance, I've turned off the club notice board. So that now no longer appears in this section. As the member clicks around, they will see that most things are now in your club colors from booking one-to-ones to everything else. This creates continuity and makes it look like Coacher is customized to your club environment.